Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of writing one variable equations and inequalities. This is standard 6.9a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 27 of the 2022 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a building here, and it's got 18 floors. Each floor is the same number of offices. And altogether, there are 396 offices. We need to find an, an equation that helps us find F, the number of offices on each floor. Well, this is going to be kind of difficult, because take a look. We've got minus F, uh, this right here. There's, there's really not anything in between, but when you have a number right next to uh, a variable like that, it means multiply. So we've got subtract, multiply. This is a fraction, but remember fraction uh, can also kind of be viewed as a division that is not complete. Uh, so we have division and we have addition. We have all four operations. So just take add, subtract, multiply, or divide. Do that with 18 and F and see if you get the answer. So we can't just guess because there's an operation that we like. So I would suggest if we were to solve this problem together, Let's draw a picture. It doesn't really matter if you're in the sixth grade, if you're in the 12th grade. I think a picture would be helpful here to help us visualize what we're doing. All right, so I'm gonna draw a picture and all I know is that it's a building, so I'm gonna make it like a skyscraper. There's gonna be 18 floors. So I'm just gonna start drawing some lines here. I'm not gonna draw the top because I don't know if I'm gonna need to extend it. And so each of these are gonna be floors here. And so I'm just going to draw, let's draw this and see how far I've gotten. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Wow. So I have six more flo floors to go. All right. All right, so for the sake of these purposes, we're going to um, not make these floors proportional. So if you live on the top floor, sorry, you're kind of scrunched and you have a very low ceiling. But that's close enough. There we go. There's our 18 floor building. Now, each floor has the same number of offices. So this is our big clue right here. Each floor has the same number. Okay, so when we're dealing with the same number of offices, that should be making us think equal groups. So we have equal groups of offices on each floor. Equal groups. That's a dead giveaway for either multiplication or division. And F is being used for the number of offices. So this right here. So each floor has the same number of F. Because it says right here, F, the number of offices. All right, so I'm just going to say each floor has F, whether it's 5, 10, 20, every single floor, even the tiny shrunken ceiling floors up at the very top have F number of offices. All right, so if I wanted to, look at that, I've got 18 Fs. I could do this, right? I could just simply do repeated addition. F, F. And I'm going to do this 18 times, right? So I'm going to end up doing this uh, two more times, right? I'm not going to spend my time drawing all that, but if we take all this and we just bring it down, I get 18 Fs and I add them all together. But when I said repeated addition, you're probably thinking, oh, that's another, that's another form of multiplication. And if you thought that, you are correct. Why would I want to add F 18 times when I can just do 18 times F? Because my total here, they already told me, is 396. So 18 times F is going to give me 396. Then if I need to, I can divide both sides by 18 to figure out what F is. And so I said 18 times F, but remember, sometimes I can just write 18 and F next to each other. So my answer here is B.